Hi guys, Matt Sides again. Um, today I'm going to use this electric Bonvino Mini Jet wine filter um, to filter a batch of rosé that I've done. Um, this has been brewed, it was a Solomon Grande rosé platinum seven day wine kit. Um, it's been fermented for the four days, stabilised on the fifth and then it's been clearing for two days. Um, when I did my last batch, uh, I ended up with a slight amount of sediment in the bottles. So I've decided this time to filter it. Uh, my local homebrew shop has lent me this machine. Um, that's Grimsby Homebrew Centre. And what this does, it passes the wine through the unit, through the pump, into the unit through three separate filter sponges and removes any particles. There are different pads depending on the clarity that you like. I've got the polish in number two. Um, so let's go with that. Um, I've got the three pads here. They need to be wet, soaked in water for at least five minutes. And all you do is remove the two thumb screws from the filter. front plate and the two washers okay then you've got three separate filters that the wine goes through remove each of those okay take one filter pad Place it into the filter like that. Take your first plate, put that on. Second filter pad, same again, place that on. Make sure the holes line up. There's two holes in each pad. They must, as you can see, it's already looking nice and clear. But I want to do a second pass just to be sure um, that we're nice and polished. So, all we have to do is again, the siphon running through the pump is in our all first pass cleared wine. Um, what I've done now is not only have I got the main outlet into the bucket, I've put another hose onto the outlet rather than a bowl, because the bowl filled up quite quickly, and I've got that running into the bucket as well. Um, and as it's, it's having two passes, it's, get, it's all getting double filtered, so... All we need to do is switch it back on. Allow it to start drawing up. Here it comes, as you can see. It's already it's really, really clear coming through this pipe on the first pass. It's going to go through the filters again. And once you suck that air out, there is a bit of air in there. You'll see it's going to be really, really clear coming through. Air coming through, tighten the filters up. As you can see, lovely, lovely clear wine coming through there. So this is a rosé, so it's a it's a clear wine anyway, but it's the, the filter's doing a brilliant job of really polishing it up to be crystal clear. So again, we run it for 40 minutes on the second pass, and once it's done, we'll draw a sample off into a glass and see just how nice it is. Okay, once the wine's been done for the second pass, remove the filters, you can see there, 
how the wines pass through the entire of the filter and then they just get thrown away do it for each one and then obviously clean all the sections and clean the filter before you put it back together the pump does get very hot especially after two runs and it does say in instructions that after you've done two runs allow it to cool before you do any subsequent batches um, otherwise you risk damaging the pump um, that's all there is to it um, what, we'll do, what we'll do now is draw off a sample to see how clear it is okay so here it is in the bottom bucket it's had the second past, pass um, got a wine glass let's draw some off let's see what we get There we go, as you can see, beautiful lovely clear wine, it's done a real good job of polishing it up nicely and it's going to look great bottled and serving that at a party.